Hey everyone, Bob Downey here. Um, just a little bit about how to fish matted vegetation. There's really two ways that I go about doing it. One is throwing a hollow body frog. You can throw this right over the top of the matted vegetation, work it back as though a frog scooting along the surface or a, or a bluegill, you know, they, they'll get blown out of those mats sometimes. Um, and that frog imitates a bluegill really well. The other way is to fish around the edges or to punch right through the matted vegetation with a Texas rig of sorts. Um, typically using a heavy rod, um, braided line, some sort of Texas rig, your favorite bait. A lot of times ones with less appendages punch through that mat a lot better. So uh, that's gonna be my one-two punch. Whenever I'm fishing matted vegetation, either a hollow belly frog or punching through the middle or the edges with a Texas rig. Those are the only two things that you really need and that's gonna get the job done for you fishing matted grass. What to look for when you're fishing matted vegetation. You see a huge mat of grass um, and nothing else besides that. There's always something more going on underneath there that you really need to key into when you're either frogging it or flipping or punching that matted grass. So any sort of point in the mat is really good. Any sort of inside turn can be good. Sometimes there's rock or hard bottom below the surface that we can't visually see from the surface. So be very cognizant. If you get a bite in an area and another bite in an area, there might be a school of fish under there sitting on a hard bottom spot that we don't even know is there. The other thing to key in on is little depressions or deeper water on that big flat. So a lot of times you'll have a big flat of grass um, it looks like it's all in the same depth of water, but generally it's not. There's always some sort of depression or deeper area underneath that mat. So pay attention when you're punching it to how long it takes your bait to get down to the bottom. If it's taken two seconds every time and all of a sudden it takes four seconds to get to the bottom in an area, you're probably just punched into a little depression or a little hole. And a lot of times those fish will literally group up and school up underneath those mats in those little depressions or holes or deeper areas. So be really uh, paying attention when you're fishing mats. It might all look the same from the surface, but under the water, it's, it's definitely not. There's always little sweet spots in there and you just gotta poke around and fish around until you find them. That's it, you guys. Fish some matted grass, you're gonna catch some big old bass.